Pause on the Beep from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs. With Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Foster. This is an American gold seal production directed by James Knight Carden and released by the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. After Tarzan has succeeded in rescuing the white party from cannibals, Clayton, the Englishman, tries to kill the ape man. Tarzan does not understand that fever is responsible for this strange conduct, and he leaves the white. However, when Tarzan discovers that the mutineers have returned and are about to raid the cabin, he warns the white. He starts to leave for Munger's village for a new supply of arrows, but lingers for a while to talk with Jane. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Beautiful, Jane. Jungle night, beautiful. You like the jungle, don't you, Tarzan? Yes, before, Tarzan liked jungle. Now, Jane here, Tarzan likes more. Jane likes jungle more? Yes, as long as you're here, I like it. But, Jane, better not stay out here. I think Tarmangani come hut again. Oh, you do? Yes, I watch them go to camp. Then they turn and come back again. Well, well we'd better call and tell the others. You get it down now. No, I Tarzan is here. He says that the mutineers turned around as if, as if they were coming back. Why? Mm, then uh, we had better be ready for them. Ah, you did get the boar, Tarzan. Yes, Horta. Horta not easy to kill, but Horta good meat. You're right, Tarzan. Wild boar is a dish fit for a king. I will go and see what the Tarmangani are All doing. All right. I think you'd better come back inside the hut, Jane. Uh, I'll stay with you, Donald. Now, uh, we, and um, Francois, I think also. If we are to have a visit from our pirate friends, well, the reception may as well be warm. I'll close the door. Then you won't be marked against the light. All right. What was it, Sir Philander? Just Tarzan with some meat. Feeling any better, Daddy? Uh, yes, uh, yes, Jane. Uh, but I do wish that you would leave my things where I put them. Yes, Daddy, what? And I maintain, Professor Brinsley, that your theory is entirely erroneous. Oh, she's delirious again. Slightly. Nothing we can do, Jane. Just let the attack wear off. Uh, the hieroglyphic distinctly says three bullets, not thirty. Ah, the bell. Show the gentleman in, Jane. So the gentleman in. Oh, dear, can't we do something? No, Jane, just leave him. He'll fall into a natural sleep again. Jane, I want to talk to you. Yes, Mr. Philander. I've known you since you were a baby, Jane. I've always had your welfare at heart. Oh, I know that. You've been a darling. The way you put up with Daddy's, well, really peculiarities. But I wish to talk of you, Jane. You and Tarzan. Yes? Now, no one has a greater regard for that gentleman than I have, Jane. But... But... Well, uh, after all, you were quite right to champion him when he was maligned by Clayton. But, Jane, I'm, I'm afraid you're falling in love with him. If you haven't done so already, you don't answer me. What can I say? Then it is as I thought. Now, Jane, you must realize that while Tarzan is a splendid fellow, you can't marry him. Why not? My dear... Your circle of friends, the society in which you're accustomed to move. Tarzan is a gentleman. Of course, of course. But attacking the problem from a different angle, would Tarzan be happy away from his jungle? Can you give up everything to live here? But, but I don't intend to live here. Why not? Because, well, because I don't. Do you expect Tarzan to give up the jungle to live in civilization? No. He'd never be happy. Tarzan has just come back. Oh! Oh, hello, Tarzan. Carmen Ganey, go back to camp. Oh, you've been there? Yes, I followed their trail. See the fire? Look, over there. Ah, oh, yes, you can barely see the glow through the trees. Then it would almost seem as though we were safe here for the night. Yes, it looks that way. Then I think I'll lie down and rest. Do so by all means, Monsieur Finlandier. Then you will be all the fresher to stand watch tomorrow. And you, Jane, I think you should rest too. 
nursing your father is taking too much out of you. Oh, I, I'm all right. I'm worried, of course, about Daddy, but I'm by no means ill. I'm quite puzzled. Why should the mutineers, pirates, or whatever you want to call them, start to come here and then, for no apparent reason, abandon their scheme? Mm, that, uh, apparently, we cannot know, monsieur. Well, many things may have happened to them in the jungle, and it's barely possible that they may have fought among themselves. Well, in that case, I'm sure we would have heard the shot. Yes, I'm inclined to agree with Jane. We should have heard any fighting with their camp so close by. But, uh, but we have not thanked Monsieur Tarzan for the poor that he has brought us. Oh, yes. We do thank you, Tarzan. If it weren't for you, we should have gone hungry more than once since we landed here. Quite right, Jane. We are deeply in Tarzan's debt. Tarzan, don't go. Stay here a while with us. I think now I go away. Go to Gomangani village for more arrows. Must you go there, Tarzan? Yes. When Tarmangani come back, I must have plenty arrows. Well, uh, I think we'd better go inside the hut. It's chilly. Not too good for the professor's fever to have this door open. You are right, monsieur. Good night, Tarzan. Good night, Jane. Shadows of the upper jungle terrace, Tarzan swings his way toward Monger's village. Much as he dislikes the idea of leaving the vicinity of the hut, still Tarzan cannot neglect his supply of arrows. Below him, and to the right, the ruddy glow from the pirate's campfire lightens the dark recesses of the jungle. Tarzan notes the figures about the fire, and satisfied that they're there for the night, he speeds on his way. But what of the pirates? Are they camped for the night? While I ate to leave this warm fire, what I say is, let's go back, clean them out. Let's all go this time. I ain't anxious to go, not after that noise that we heard. Ah, oh, forget it, Bob. Bark nothing but some new kind of animal. Yeah. Well, well, that ain't what you said when we was out there. Say, I'm telling you, this blasted jungle is one thing, and we got a roar and fire like this a going. In the dark. Hey, it ain't so hot. Hey, we can take the whole bunch this time. Make it look better and make them give in quicker. What are you talking about, give in? There ain't going to be no giving in. That's Professor Blow. The court. That's all we want. And the rest? Burn them. Get them unaware. And shoot them down. Sounds easy. But I noticed you didn't stand out front when the shooting was going on. Shut up. All that shooting didn't do no good. And you know that. If you guys are going to chew the rag here all night, uh, just as soon go to the blooming nut. Right, all right. Come on, men. And don't make too much noise. Because you blokes walk quiet, you want to wipe the old blasted jungle? Well, go ahead and lead the way. I notice you ain't taking the lead. Why? One more crack out of you, and I'm going to... And what? You blooming lime juicer? I stole that cab. You guys are getting on my nerves. Right. This jungle could drive a blue bomb in time. we got to keep all on ourselves. I'll say, I got an idea. No. Yeah. That cry we heard... I bet it was that jungle guy that you told us about. Oh, you're balmy. That there ain't right, the jungle bloke. Yeah, well, I bet you're right at that corner. Be quiet. Shut yeah. up. And damn it. And all the dark. Let them all sleep. Hey, don't forget that Frenchman may be walking sentry go. Well, you tackle him. I'll get the day. King, you and the boys can fight the professor. Sure, yeah. sure. Leave it to us. Quiet now, quiet. Oh, it's bolted on the inside. What's that? Is that you, Tarzan? Yes. Just a minute. I'll open the door. That's that, man. We'll do her in before she comes out. Yeah. But what about 
want the rest of your paper for dying. I see her talk. Here she is. Well, then, where are you? Grab a feet there, King. Come on. Let's blow. What fate is to be James at the hands of the past? Will Tarzan discover her captain?